What's up, YouTube? It's me, Sassy Naps 290, and I'm here with a um, video about essential oils and um, taking care of dyed, beautiful, nappy hair. Um, as you can see, I've dyed my hair. Beautiful, right? I dyed it for my birthday last week. Um, so it's going on a week now of being um, dyed. And I love it. I love the color. And um, when you have dye hair, you have to make sure that you moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Um, so I want to share a few things with you all about how I plan to take care of my um, newly dyed hair. Um, this isn't my first time having my hair dyed. I've dyed my hair myself in the beginning um, part of locking. Um, I dyed it like two or three times. Um, always trying to achieve this color, but I never really achieved this color because I didn't know I had to leave it on for a heck of a long time for it to get this color. But um, then you all saw the video back in December um, where I dyed my hair and it was jet black in the front and it was um, this color in the back. And my loptician did that and she did this color um, last week as well. So the mistakes that I were making was, um, for one, not giving my hair enough moisture. And um, number two was um, the shampoos that I were using were um, color stripping shampoos. Um, you all know I have an issue with my scalp, a lot of dandruff, dry scalp, so I'm always using something that's um, clarifying, those clarifying shampoos. If you have dyed hair, you do not want to use them because your color will not last. You will strip your color. So that's why I am no longer going to use um, this shampoo that I've showed you all before because it's a great shampoo. It's great for removing buildup, all that good stuff. But it is not great for dyed hair. So, won't be using any clarifying shampoos. Um, instead, I picked up this um, Organics Nourishing Coconut Milk. Um, this is the conditioner. And I also have the shampoo. I wanted the shea butter one, but um, they didn't have it. So um, I got this from Walmart. And um, I've seen it at Walmart before, so I'm going to try to go to a different one. Okay, sorry, my battery died on me. But like I was saying, I'm going to be using this shampoo and the shea butter one as well. It's Organics Coconut Milk um, Shampoo. I've seen... Um, a few other people that I've subscribed to use it and they give great reviews about it being uh, providing great moisture for their hair so hopefully um, it'll do the same for me and I'm just going to be um, I guess um, taking another route when it comes to um, cleaning my scalp um, the idea I have is to um, I've seen this before for people who are newly locked and um, some people decide not to wash their hair for a while that wasn't the route that I went I started my locks with um, interlocking and back combing so I was able to wash my hair um, without it unraveling a lot so um, for those who took the um, started their locks by in a method where they couldn't wash their hair um, they say you use like astringents like um, this is equate or um, sea breeze or whatever to go through and cleanse your scalp of any buildup or whatever. So I think I'm going to try this. So that way I'm getting, I'm achieving, um, getting the gunk or whatever off my scalp without damaging the dye, um, of my hair without stripping my color. So I'm going to try that, like get a cotton ball and go through part of my hair and um, cleanse my scalp that way before I um, wash with this shampoo. So we'll see. Um, comment below if you think that's a good idea or if there's other ways that I can cleanse my scalp without um, damaging the color in my hair. Okay? We can learn together. All right? But anywho, speaking of learning, I'm about to put together a concoction so that I can use it on my hair. Um, the oil, I guess, concoction to use to oil my scalp and moisturize my hair and all that good stuff. 
and this is <clears throat> what I am going to be on. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. I'm you. Okay. Almond oil, jojoba oil. This is lavender oil, rosemary oil, peppermint oil, vitamin E, good old H2O, and um, coconut oil. And this is what I, the bottle, I'm going to be putting it all in. Okay? So, I'm going to take and put... A ounce of water. A ounce of coconut oil that I've melted. of um no a half an ounce of almond oil because this is just for shine uh <clears throat> ounce of um what is this a whole a whole oil half ounce of vitamin E and the reason why I said this is just a concoction learning and all that because I don't really know how to um there's my napkins this stuff is going to work together hopefully it works well alright now Time for the essential oils. Now I am going to seal it. Seal it up. And shake it up, baby. Now shake it up, baby. Twist and shout. Twist and shout. Come on, come on, come on, come on, baby. Now come on, baby. Come on and break it up now. And that's what we got right there. See that? And I'm going to, right now, I'm going to use this to, um, you see my stand? This is, this is my ghetto concoction that I used to hold my camera when I'm in the bathroom. But anywho, I'm going to use this and see what it does for my hair. And I will let you all know. And again, I've used, and that's what I'm going to use to moisturize my hair. And we will see how it goes from here. All right. Um. Yeah, that's it. Um, comment below if you have any other advice regarding um, moisturizing your locks um, when they're color treated um, about good shampoos for color treated locks um, about how I can keep my scalp clean without damaging this beautiful color up here and um, let me know if you like the color of my hair all right I'll talk to you all hopefully soon and as always and rate comment and subscribe to all your friends and all your fellow subscribers about stats and apps that's it y'all talk to y'all later Thanks to the hoes, pussy never plummet. 
pimp till I'm gone.